Fentanyl, Wikipedia Audio Fentanyl, also spelled fentanyl, is an opioid which is used as a pain medication and together with other medications for anesthesia. It has a rapid onset and effects generally last less than an hour or two. Fentanyl is available in a number of forms including by injection, as a skin patch, and to be absorbed through the tissues inside the mouth. Common side effects include nausea, constipation, sleepiness, and confusion. Serious side effects may include a decreased effort to breathe, serotonin syndrome, low blood pressure, or addiction. Fentanyl works in part by activating muopioid receptors. It is about 75 times stronger than morphine for a given amount. Some fentanyl analogs may be as much as 10,000 times stronger than morphine. Fentanyl was first made by Paul Janssen in 1960 and approved for medical use in the United States in 1968. It was developed by testing chemicals similar in structure to pethidine for opioid activity. In 2015, 1,600 kg were used globally. As of 2017, fentanyl was the most widely used synthetic opioid in medicine. Medical Uses Fentanyl patches are on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. The wholesale cost in the developing world as of 2015 is between 0.08 and 81 cents per 100 micrograms vial. In the United States this amount costs about 40 cents as of 2017. Fentanyl is also made illegally and used as a recreational drug often mixed with heroin or cocaine. In 2016 more than 20,000 deaths occurred in the United States due to overdoses of fentanyl and its analogs. Intravenous fentanyl is often used for anesthesia and analgesia. During anesthesia it is often used along with a hypnotic agent like propofol. It is also administered in combination with a benzodiazepine, such as midazolam to produce sedation for procedures such as endoscopy, cardiac catheterization, and oral surgery, or in emergency rooms. It is often used in the management of chronic pain including cancer pain. People already stabilized on other opioids who have persistent swallowing problems and cannot tolerate other parenteral routes such as subcutaneous administration, people with moderate to severe kidney failure, troublesome side effects of oral morphine, hydromorphone, or oxycodone. Fentanyl is sometimes given intrathecally as part of spinal anesthesia or epidurally for epidural anesthesia and analgesia. Because of fentanyl's high lipid solubility, its effects are more localized than morphine and some clinicians prefer to use morphine to get a wider spread of analgesia. Fentanyl transdermal patches are used in chronic pain management. The patches work by slowly releasing fentanyl through the skin into the bloodstream over 48 to 72 hours, allowing for long-lasting pain management. Dosage is based on the size of the patch, since, in general, the transdermal absorption rate is constant at a constant skin temperature. Rate of absorption is dependent on a number of factors. Body temperature, skin type, amount of body fat, and placement of the patch can have major effects. The different delivery systems used by different makers will also affect individual rates of absorption. Under normal circumstances, the patch will reach its full effect within 12 to 24 hours, thus, fentanyl patches are often prescribed with a fast-acting opioid to handle breakthrough pain. It is unclear if fentanyl gives long-term pain relief to people with neuropathic pain. In palliative care, 
transdermal fentanyl has a definite, but limited, role for. Care must be taken to guard against the application of external heat sources which in certain circumstances can trigger the release of too much medication and cause life-threatening complications. Saturation of the body fat compartment in patients with rapid and profound body fat loss, early carbon dioxide retention causing cutaneous vasodilation, together with acidosis which reduces protein binding of fentanyl, releasing yet more fentanyl, reduced sedation, losing a useful early warning sign of opioid toxicity and resulting in levels closer to respiratory depressant levels. Duragesic was first approved by the College Terbiordeling van Genies Middellen, the Medicines Evaluation Board in the Netherlands, on July 17, 1995, as 25, 50, 75 and 100 g slash h formulations after a set of successful clinical trials, and on October 27, 2004, the 12 g slash h formulation was approved as well. On January 28, 2005, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved first-time generic formulations of 25, 50, 75, and 100 g h fentanyl transdermal systems through an FTC consent agreement derailing the possibility of a monopoly in the treatment of breakthrough chronic pain by Alza Corp. In some cases, physicians instruct patients to apply more than one patch at a time giving a much wider range of possible dosages. For example, a patient may be prescribed a 37.5 G dosage by applying one 12.5 G patch and one 25 G patch simultaneously, or contingent on the large size of the 100 mu G slash H patch, multiple patches are commonly prescribed for doses exceeding 100 mu G slash H such as 275 mu g slash h patches worn to afford a 150 mu g slash h dosage regimen. Although the commonly referred to dosage rates are 12 slash 25 slash 50 slash 75 slash 100 g slash h, the 12 g patch actually releases 12.5 g slash h. It is designed to release half the dose of the 25 g h dose patch. As of July 2009, construction of the Duragesic patch had been changed from the gel pouch and membrane design to a drug-in adhesive matrix designed formulation, as described in the prescribing information. This construction makes illicit use of the fentanyl more difficult. Intravenous and intrathecal The fentanyl patch is one of a small number of medications that may be especially harmful, and in some cases fatal, with just one dose, if used by someone other than the person for whom the medication was prescribed. Unused fentanyl patches should be kept in a secure location that is out of children's sight and reach, such as a locked cabinet. When patches cannot be disposed of through a medication take-back program, flushing is recommended for fentanyl patches because it is the fastest and surest way to remove them from the home so they cannot harm children, pets and others who were not intended to use them. In February 2004, a leading fentanyl supplier, Janssen Pharmaceutica Products, LP, recalled one lot and then later, additional lots of fentanyl patches because of seal breaches which might have allowed the medication to leak from the patch. A series of Class II recalls was initiated in March 2004, and in February 2008 Alza Corporation recalled their 25 g h duragesic patches due to a concern that small cuts in the gel reservoir could result in accidental exposure of patients or healthcare providers to the fentanyl gel. In February 2011, 
the manufacturer suspended production of all duragesic patches due to quality control issues involving unspecified microscopic crystallization detected during the manufacturing process of the 100G/H strength. The bioavailability of intranasal fentanyl is about 70-90% but with some imprecision due to clotted nostrils, pharyngeal swallow, and incorrect administration. For both emergency and palliative use, intranasal fentanyl is available in doses of 50, 100, and 200 g. In emergency medicine, safe administration of intranasal fentanyl with a low rate of side effects and a promising pain reducing effect was demonstrated in a prospective observational study in about 900 out of hospital patients in children intranasal fentanyl is useful for the treatment of moderate and severe pain and is well tolerated Abstrol dissolves quickly and is absorbed through the sublingual mucosa to provide rapid analgesia. Fentanyl is a highly lipophilic compound, which is well absorbed sublingually and generally well tolerated. Such forms are particularly useful for breakthrough cancer pain episodes, which are often rapid in onset, short in duration and severe in intensity. Patches Storage and Disposal Fentanyl lozenges are a solid formulation of fentanyl citrate on a stick in the form of a lollipop that dissolves slowly in the mouth for transmucosal absorption. These lozenges are intended for opioid-tolerant individuals and are effective in treating breakthrough cancer pain. It has also been used for breakthrough pain for patients with non-malignant pain but this application is controversial. The unit is a berry-flavored lozenge on a stick swabbed on the mucosal surfaces inside the mouth inside of the cheeks, under and on the tongue and gums to release the fentanyl quickly into the system. It is most effective when the lozenge is consumed within 15 minutes. About 25% of the medication is absorbed through the oral mucosa resulting in a fast onset of action, and the rest is swallowed and absorbed in the small intestine, acting more slowly. The lozenge is less effective and acts more slowly if swallowed as a whole, as despite good absorbance from the small intestine there is extensive first-pass metabolism, leading to an oral bioavailability of about 33% as opposed to 50% when used correctly. Recalls Intranasal Sublingual Lozenges Other Attic is produced by the pharmaceutical company Cephalon on a plastic stick, this provides the means by which the medication can maintain its placement while it dissolves slowly in the mouth for absorption across the buccal mucosa in a manner similar to sublingual buprenorphine slash naloxone film strips. An attic lozenge contains 2 grams of sugar. Attic has been linked to dental decay, with some users who had no prior dental issues suffering tooth loss, and in the US many users have started their own Facebook pages to educate users about the severe dental issues caused by the so-called fentanyl lollipops. CBS News reported the issue September 28, 2009. The status of a sugar-free version, called Attic SF, is unclear. Since the release of Fentera an effervescent buccal fentanyl tablet for breakthrough cancer pain Cephalon has indefinitely postponed plans to release a sugar-free version of Attic. Beginning late September 2006, a generic oral transmucosal fentanyl citrate has been available, made by Bar Pharmaceuticals. The United States Air Force Pararescue and Swedish Armed Forces Combat Medics utilize lollipops with fentanyl. Navy Corpsmen working with the United States Marine Corps in Afghanistan use fentanyl lollipops on combat casualties from IED blasts and other mechanisms of injury. 
The lollipop is taped to the casualty's finger and inserted in between the teeth and cheek of the patient. When enough of the medication has been absorbed the finger will generally fall from the patient's mouth, thereby indicating that the medication has become effectively administered. Adverse Effects Some preparations such as nasal sprays and inhalers may result in a rapid response, but the fast onset of high blood levels may compromise safety. In addition, the expense of some of these appliances may greatly reduce their cost effectiveness. In children it is unclear if intranasal fentanyl is as good as or the same as morphine. A fentanyl patient-controlled transdermal system is under development, which aims to allow patients to control administration of fentanyl through the skin during the treatment of perioperative pain. Fentanyl's most common side effects include diarrhea, nausea, constipation, dry mouth, somnolence, confusion, asthenia, sweating, and less frequently abdominal pain, headache, fatigue, anorexia, and weight loss, dizziness, nervousness, hallucinations, anxiety, depression, flu-like symptoms, dyspepsia, shortness of breath, hypoventilation, apnea, and urinary retention. Fentanyl use has also been associated with aphasia. Despite being a more potent analgesic, fentanyl tends to induce less nausea, as well as less histamine-mediated itching, than morphine. Fentanyl may produce more prolonged respiratory depression than other opioid analgesics. In 2006 the U.S. Food and Drug Administration began investigating several respiratory deaths, but doctors in the United Kingdom were not warned of the risks with fentanyl until September 2008. The FDA reported in April 2012 that 12 young children had died and 12 more made seriously ill from separate accidental exposures to fentanyl skin patches. The precise reason for sudden respiratory depression is unclear, but there are several hypotheses. Fentanyl has a therapeutic index of 270. Overdose In July 2014, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency of the UK issued a warning about the potential for life-threatening harm from accidental exposure to transdermal fentanyl patches, particularly in children, and advised that they should be folded, with the adhesive side in, before being discarded. The patches should be kept away from children, who are most at risk from fentanyl overdose. Death from fentanyl overdose was declared a public health crisis in Canada in September 2015, and it continues to be a significant public health issue. In 2016, deaths from fatal fentanyl overdoses in British Columbia, Canada, averaged two persons per day. In 2017 the death rate rose over 100% with 368 overdose-related deaths in British Columbia between January and April 2017. Pharmacology Medical examiners concluded that musician Prince died on April 21, 2016, from an accidental fentanyl overdose. Fentanyl was among many substances identified in counterfeit pills recovered from his home, especially some that were mislabeled as Watson 385, a combination of hydrocodone and paracetamol. American rapper Lil Peep also died of an accidental fentanyl overdose on November 15, 2017. On January 19, 2018, the medical examiner coroner for the County of Los Angeles announced that Tom Petty died from an accidental drug overdose as a result of mixing medications that included fentanyl, acetyl fentanyl, and dyspropionyl fentanyl.
he was reportedly treating many serious ailments that included a broken hip. In the U.S., fentanyl caused 20,100 deaths in 2016, a rise of 540% over the past three years. Detection in Biological Fluids History Society and Culture Fentanyl provides some of the effects typical of other opioids through its agonism of the opioid receptors. Its strong potency in relation to that of morphine is largely due to its high lipophilicity, per the Meyer-Overton correlation. Because of this, it can more easily penetrate the central nervous system. Fentanyl may be measured in blood or urine to monitor for abuse, confirm a diagnosis of poisoning, or assist in a medical legal death investigation. Commercially available immunoassays are often used as initial screening tests, but chromatographic techniques are generally used for confirmation and quantitation. Blood or plasma fentanyl concentrations are expected to be in a range of 0.33.0 μg L in persons using the medication therapeutically, 110 μg L in intoxicated patients and 3 to 300 μg L in victims of acute overdosage. Fentanyl was first synthesized by Paul Janssen under the label of his relatively newly formed Janssen Pharmaceutica in 1959. The widespread use of fentanyl triggered the production of fentanyl citrate, which entered medical use as a general anesthetic under the trade name Sublimase in the 1960s. In the mid-1990s, Janssen Pharmaceutica developed and introduced into clinical trials the Duragesic patch, which is a formation of an inert alcohol gel infused with select fentanyl doses, which are worn to provide constant administration of the opioid over a period of 48 to 72 hours. After a set of successful clinical trials, Duragesic fentanyl patches were introduced into medical practice. Following the patch, a flavored lollipop of fentanyl citrate mixed with inert fillers was introduced in 1998 under the brand name of Attic, becoming the first quick-acting formation of fentanyl for use with chronic breakthrough pain. In 2009, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Onsolis, a fentanyl drug in a new dosage form for cancer pain management in opioid-tolerant subjects. It uses a medication delivery technology called BEMA, a small dissolvable polymer film containing various fentanyl doses applied to the inner lining of the cheek. Fentanyl has a USDEA exc of 9,801 and a 2,013 annual aggregate manufacturing quota of 2,108.75 kg, unchanged from the prior year. Brand names include Sublimase, Attic, Durogesic, Durogesic, Fentera, Matrifen, Halded, Onsolis, Instanil, Abstral, Lazenda and others. Subsis is a sublingual spray of fentanyl manufactured by Inzis Therapeutics. The wholesale cost in the developing world as of 2015 is between 0.08 and 81 cents per 100 micrograms vial. In the United States this amount costs about 40 cents as of 2017. In the United States the patches cost 11 US dollars and 22 cents for a 12G slash HR version and 8 US dollars and 74 cents for a 100G slash HR version. In the UK, fentanyl is classified as a controlled class A drug under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971. In the Netherlands, fentanyl is a list I substance of the opium law. In the U.S., fentanyl is a Schedule II controlled substance per the Controlled Substance Act.
Distributors of Abstrol are required to implement an FDA-approved risk evaluation and mitigation strategy program. In order to curb misuse, many health insurers have begun to require pre-certification and slash or quantity limits for attic prescriptions. On June 19, 2007, a $5.5 million jury verdict was awarded in a U.S. case against Johnson & Johnson subsidiaries, Alza Corporation, and Janssen Pharmaceutica Products, the manufacturers of the Duragesic Fentanyl Transdermal Pain Patch. This case, the first federal trial involving the Duragesic Fentanyl Patch, was tried in the Federal District Court for the Southern District of Florida. West Palm Beach Division. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has issued public health advisories related to fentanyl patch dangers. Among these, in July 2005, the FDA issued a public health advisory, which advised that deaths and overdoses have occurred in patients using both the brand name product Duragesic and the generic product. In December 2007, as part of this continuing investigation, the FDA issued a second public health advisory stating, the FDA has continued to receive reports of deaths and life-threatening side effects in patients who use the fentanyl patch. The reports indicate that doctors have inappropriately prescribed the fentanyl patch. In addition, the reports indicate that patients are continuing to incorrectly use the fentanyl patch. Illicit use of pharmaceutical fentanyl and its analogs first appeared in the mid-1970s in the medical community and continues in the present. More than 12 different analogs of fentanyl, all unapproved and clandestinely produced, have been identified in the U.S. drug traffic. The biological effects of the fentanyl analogs are similar to those of heroin, with the exception that many users report a noticeably less euphoric high associated with the drug and stronger sedative and analgesic effects. Fentanyl analogs may be hundreds of times more potent than street heroin, and tend to produce significantly more respiratory depression, making it much more dangerous than heroin to users. Fentanyl is used orally, smoked, snorted, or injected. Fentanyl is sometimes sold as heroin or oxycodone, often leading to overdoses. Many fentanyl overdoses are initially classified as heroin overdoses. Estonia has the highest rate of 3-methylfentanyl overdose deaths in the EU, due to its high rate of recreational use. Fentanyl is sometimes sold on the black market in the form of transdermal fentanyl patches such as Duragesic, diverted from legitimate medical supplies. The gel from inside the patches may be ingested or injected. Another form of fentanyl that has appeared on the streets is the Attic Lollipop formulation. The pharmacy retail price ranges from $15 to $50 per unit based on the strength of the lozenge, with the black market cost ranging from $5 to $25, depending on the dose. The Attorneys General of Connecticut and Pennsylvania have launched investigations into its diversion from the legitimate pharmaceutical market including cephalons sales and promotional practices for Provigil, Attic, and Gabby Trill. Non-medical use of fentanyl by individuals without opiate tolerance can be very dangerous and has resulted in numerous deaths. Even those with opiate tolerances are at high risk for overdoses. Once the fentanyl is in the user's system, it is extremely difficult to stop its course because of the nature of absorption. Illicitly synthesized fentanyl powder has also appeared on the United States market. Because of the extremely high strength of pure fentanyl powder, it is very difficult to dilute appropriately, and often the resulting mixture may be far too strong and, therefore, very dangerous. 
Some heroin dealers mix fentanyl powder with heroin to increase potency or compensate for low-quality heroin. In 2006, illegally manufactured, non-pharmaceutical fentanyl often mixed with cocaine or heroin caused an outbreak of overdose deaths in the United States and Canada, heavily concentrated in the cities of Dayton, Ohio, Chicago, Detroit, and Philadelphia. Several large quantities of illicitly produced fentanyl have been seized by U.S. law enforcement agencies. In June 2006, 945 grams of 83% pure fentanyl powder was seized by Border Patrol agents in California from a vehicle that had entered from Mexico. Mexico is the source of much of the illicit fentanyl for sale in the U.S. However, in April 2006, there was one domestic fentanyl lab discovered by law enforcement in Azusa, California. The lab was a source of counterfeit 80 mg OxyContin tablets containing fentanyl instead of oxycodone, as well as bulk fentanyl and other drugs. In November 2016, the DEA uncovered an operation making counterfeit oxycodone and Xanax from a home in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. They found about 70,000 pills in the appearance of oxycodone and more than 25,000 in the appearance of Xanax. The DEA reported that millions of pills could have been distributed from this location over the course of time. The accused owned a pill press and ordered fentanyl in powder form from China. The China white form of fentanyl refers to any of a number of clandestinely produced analogues, especially alpha-methyl fentanyl. This Department of Justice document lists China white as a synonym for a number of fentanyl analogues, including 3-methyl fentanyl and alpha-methyl fentanyl which today are classified as Schedule I drugs in the United States. Part of the motivation for AMF is that, despite the extra difficulty from a synthetic standpoint, the resultant drug is relatively more resistant to metabolic degradation. This results in a drug with an increased duration. In June 2013, the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a health advisory to emergency departments alerting to 14 overdose deaths among intravenous drug users in Rhode Island associated with acetyl fentanyl, a synthetic opioid analog of fentanyl that has never been licensed for medical use. In a separate study conducted by the CDC, 82% of fentanyl overdose deaths involved illegally manufactured fentanyl, while only 4% were suspected to originate from a prescription. Beginning in 2015, Canada has seen a widespread number of fentanyl overdoses. Authorities suspect that the drug is being imported from Asia to the western coast by organized crime groups in powder form and being pressed into pseudo-oxycontin tablets. Traces of the drug have also been found in other recreational drugs including cocaine, MDMA, and heroin. The drug has been implicated in multiple deaths from the homeless to young professionals, including multiple teens and young parents. Because of the rising deaths across the country, especially in British Columbia where the deaths for 2016 is 668 and deaths for 2017 is 999, Health Canada is putting a rush on a review of the prescription-only status of naloxone in an effort to combat overdoses of the drug. Russian Spetsnaz security forces used a fentanyl gas to incapacitate people rapidly in the Moscow theater hostage crisis in 2002. The siege was ended, but about 130 of the 850 hostages died from the gas. The Russian health minister later stated that the gas was based on fentanyl, but the exact chemical agent has not been identified. 
Fentanyl an injectable formulation is commonly used for analgesia and as a component of balanced sedation and general anesthesia in small animal patients. Its potency and short duration of action make it particularly useful in critically ill patients. In addition, it tends to cause less vomiting and regurgitation than other pure opioid agonists when given as a continuous post-operative infusion. As with other pure opioids, fentanyl can be associated with dysphoria in both dogs and cats. Transdermal fentanyl has also been used for many years in dogs and cats for post-operative analgesia. This is usually done with off-label fentanyl patches manufactured for humans with chronic pain. In 2012 a highly concentrated transdermal solution, trade name Recuvira, has become commercially available for dogs only. It is FDA approved to provide four days of analgesia after a single application prior to surgery. It is not approved for multiple doses or other species. The drug is also approved in Europe. Brand names Cost Legal status Legal action Public health advisories Recreational use Incapacitating agent Veterinary use